Okay, in this problem, we are given a model for the amount M in trillions of dollars of mortgage debt outstanding in the United States from 1990 to 2002. And they're just going, that's from the 12 years right there. That's, uh, they're just getting that from this. Uh, T represents the year w starting in 1990. They're letting that be the time equal zero. Uh, I went ahead and made a graph. It looks like a line, but it is actually a parabola. We know it's a parabola because this is a squared function. It is just a really, really flattened out wide parabola for that short period of time that this is representing. In part A of this problem, we're asked to describe the transformation of the parent function f of x equals x squared and then sketch the graph over this specified domain, which I already did. I made the graph of it right here. But we have to describe the transformation. Uh, for this, sometimes it might be easier to look at what the original parent function looks like. So I went ahead and put in a graph of just plain old f of x equals x squared, just a plain old parabola right there. Now you can see that it's, it's much narrower. The parabola would come down like this, coming up, as you can see right there. Like I said, this actually almost looks like a line. It's so wide. Uh, so we know that that part has changed. We also know that the vertex has been moved. Um, the vertex here would be down here at zero, zero. This one's still going. It's somewhere way over there someplace. Uh, so we know that it's been translated horizontally. It's been shifted horizontally uh, by some factor. So let's go back up here and take a look at this. When we look at a function for a parabola, a quadratic, when it's in this form here, inside the parentheses is always a horizontal shift left or right, but it's the opposite direction of the sign. So since this sign is plus, plus goes this direction down here, we know it goes the opposite direction. So it actually moved it by this much to the left, which makes sense. You could kind of see the vertex is over there somewhere to the left. This part here, this is what controls how wide or narrow, uh, called horizontal uh, stretching or shrink is actually two different ways you can describe it, or vertical stretching and shrinking, depends upon how you like to think about it. Uh, that's what controls that, how wide or narrow the parabola is. So, knowing those two pieces of information and knowing that it uh, has changed from just a plain old parabola, we can say this. We can say that because we know it's much wider, uh, we could say it has a vertical shrink by a factor of 0.0054. Like I said, there's two ways you can actually describe this. You could also refer to this as a vertical stretch. Um, but I'm going to describe this as a vertical shrink by a factor of 0.0054. And the other part, again, we know that it got moved to the left, translated to the left, 20.396 units. That would uh, move the vertex from over here to back here if we were to get rid of that part. So that's describing the translation. That was part A. Describe the transformation, uh, the translation to the left and then the, the widening of it. Part B wants us to do this. Part B says, okay, what if instead of using year zero to be 1990, let's use year zero to be the year 2000? I mean, you could write a function where we use that for the zero instead. How wide it is is not going to change, but the translation part is. Since it's translated 10 years, what we need to do is we're going to add 10 more years to this, 10 to this shift here. So. When we do that, we end up with this function right here. We end up with f of x is equal to 0 0.054 times the quantity t plus 30.396 quantity squared. And that would be the answer to rewriting it if you wanted to use a different year.